my name is Ryan, welcome to the channel. Today we're talking about this piece of work right here. Now, if you made it this far, you can go a little further. Please click that like button, click the subscribe button, because we go over art, we go over life tips, anything you need to know about being successful or being motivated, that's what I'm here for. I wanna help you become the best you can be. So without further ado, let's talk about the art. So some tips that I might have for you to be a better artist is to just know your strengths and know your weaknesses. There's gonna be things that you do that you get noticed for, and people are gonna say, wow, I like that. And you gotta have that ear tuned to that because that's what's gonna help you work your way into what you do best, right? So there's times where I make pictures and people are like, that's weird, you know what I mean? And I'm, <laughs> don't get me wrong, a lot of people think that my art's weird and uh, that's just part of it, right? Art is subjective and it's beautiful to who makes it. But when I notice somebody really likes something or they like the way I did something, a certain brush stroke or shading type with the markers, the way I outline it, those kind of things, they really stick with me and I'm like, yes, when I make my next picture, I wanna do it like that. Definitely keep a lookout for your strengths and weaknesses. You'll be surprised how many people give you hints if you start showing your work to others. Another tip that I have for people who are trying to be better artists is you've gotta commit. Now, what I mean by commit is like, when you make your picture, you gotta know that it is what it's supposed to be, right? A lot of people just, they start with pencil and they draw and they erase and they draw and they erase and they just, they never really get off the page because they can't stop thinking that it's not perfect yet. One of my biggest themes is that I never use a pencil. Now, obviously this could be a mistake to someone else. If you have to use a pencil, maybe you have to. But for me personally, that just puts in too many errors. If I put that pen down and I can't erase it, I'm stuck with it. And that's the way I like to do it. That means that what I draw is permanent and I've gotta mean it. So I don't just go in there and start scribbling and scratching and doing all this stuff because to me, that doesn't get anywhere. So I like to put my drawings in Sharpie from the start, and once it looks like a coloring book page, all that I've gotta do is color it. Now, keep in mind, for me personally, coloring it takes the longest. I can draw a picture like this very quickly, but I could take a year to color it. Now, that's just because sometimes you don't have all the time to do it, and a lot of times painting is a big mess. Not all of my stuff is paint, a majority of it is marker, but in the recent years, I've learned that paint just really pops a lot more, so I'm trying to incorporate it in more and more drawings. So anything that's newer is almost all paint, and anything from the transition gets to where it's about half paint, half marker. And I really like that sweet spot in the middle where it's got a lot of texture, because marker has texture that you can't get from paint, and so there's time and places where I can't get away from it, I have to use marker. But to start with this drawing, I can't wait to show it to you. It's one of my favorites. Now, this is something that my wife helped me on. She would make sure that I told you that the glitter that's on the top, she helped me do it. And so I can't go without saying that because honey, I love you and thank you for helping me with that because it looks awesome. And I'll get, honestly, the most compliments that I get about this picture is the glitter. So thanks to you. One of the reasons that this is one of my favorite pictures is because it's a picture of friendship. Now, I'm 6'4", I'm kind of tall, so the giraffe in the picture is me. And then the rhinoceros is just whoever buddy that I have with me or, you know, it's just kind of a general picture of friendship, right? So you and a pal, do whatever you do. Obviously, it's a trippy perspective. It's a completely abstract drawing, but I love animals and this is kind of a test of how to draw something that does resemble something in real life. Obviously, I draw mostly monsters and spirits and, you know, dragons and stuff. So to draw a giraffe and a rhinoceros was quite a challenge. I'd be lying if I didn't say that I looked up how to draw those things or what they look like in general because having a mental image of an actual rhinoceros is not something that I keep around. So, <laughs> so one of the cool things is that the giraffes were in a basketball jersey. I played a little bit of basketball. I wasn't that great, but I had fun. And so the giraffe's got a jersey on. He's also wearing a chain that says TK, which is the symbol for trick stars, and it's just a little toss to my tag that I put on my drawings. I like to hide it, and uh, you usually have to find them in my pictures, or you know, I'll put two, I have two different ones, so I'll either sign my initials, R-A-M, or I'll put T-K. And uh, that's just personal preference, whatever I feel is most prominent in that drawing. The description of my niche of Ram and TK is kind of like Ram is what I was born with, and then TK is kind of what God gave me, right? I'm just using the fruits of my spirit. I believe God gave me the ability to make art, and so I'm trying to make it and give Him the glory for it. So, whatever I feel is most prominent in the drawing, I'll sign it either Ram or TK. But it's not to be taken too seriously, it's just something that I'm feeling, and I like to just put whatever looks good. So, one thing that's really cool is that in the pattern of the giraffe, you see lots of color blotches and that's just a signature that I use. Lots of colors and lots of organic shapes. But one of the coolest parts is that in his arm is uh, spelled out letters and if you notice it, comment below is telling me what you see. But if you don't, I don't even know if it's backwards. Maybe you can see it. If you see it, it says genius and I think that's really cool. It's just kind of organically blended into the arm and uh, not many people notice it but 
I'll notice it and I put it in there on purpose because I think it's genius. Again, you can see some color waves up the top behind the giraffe's head, behind the rhino's head, and that's where you see the glitter pattern as well. And uh, I just like to fill void space with color. I like to do bands and points and you know all kinds of abstract shapes. But one thing that you'll notice in all my art is that it's got a bold outline. And so that's very important to me because a lot of artists will paint and they'll mix paint and they, they paint landscapes or they, you know, portraits or anything, even abstract paint is just splattered on canvas a lot of times. And don't get me wrong, if that's what you do, more power to you, I think that's great. But I personally am not drawn to that kind of art style. I like the sticker book look, I like to have bold outlines. So that's part of the reason why I draw in Sharpie in the, in the first place. You can see that I fill that void space with lots of colors and patterns, and that's just how I like to do it. But the subject matter is still the two pals just kicking it. So on the other side, you can see the rhino. He's blinged out, obviously. We're just chilling. The rhino actually has an Indian headdress on, and it's pretty sweet. I don't know why, but I think it would look cool, so that's why I put it there. Maybe the rhino is just like a chief. I don't know. He's out in Africa doing chief stuff, but that's what it is. He's got all kinds of colored feathers, and I just think it looks awesome. And you might not notice it from the first glance, you know, but that's part of the pull of my art is that there's so much going on that you just keep looking and you keep finding stuff. And it doesn't really make sense, but who cares? It looks cool. One of the cultural innuendos you might find in the picture is that the rhino is wearing a toga, like a Greek toga. Don't know what that has to do with anything, but it's colorful and looks cool. Lots of flowy colors and I'm just practicing my marker strokes. Shading with markers is something that came later on and you can see that I get better as I show pictures that are from a newer era. I'm not exactly going in chronological order, but I'm just grabbing ones off the wall that I think are really cool that you might love to see. So a lot of people might ask, where's the blue monster in this picture? You know, he didn't show up and uh, you can see it actually in the jersey. So the giraffe has a jersey and it's got an abstract face on it. You'll see an eye, you might not see much else, but there it is, the blue box the blue figure that resembles the Holy Spirit and again it resembles the garment that I'm wearing to keep me safe. Everyone knows that not all friends you've had near you or with you have been good influences and this picture testifies to that. You never know the intentions of somebody that's with you so by keeping the armor of God on you know that you're safe and if people try to mislead you you're gonna have that keen eye to notice it and you're gonna know to cut them out. That being said there's a lot of great friends that I've had that have been with me through the years that were always hanging out or always kicking it and this is definitely an homage to you too because I couldn't be here without you and all the support of my friends and my family. So this picture is definitely about friendship and to all those who have been my friends, thank you. So I hope you found this video cool. I really like this picture and it's something that came later in my art career, but it's large, colorful, and perfectly framed and that's why it's on my wall. If you have any questions about how I made this or if you just wanna know more about the backstory behind it or myself, just please reach out in the comments or message me. I'll be more than happy to reply. So it wouldn't be complete without noticing that three stars in the corner. Wouldn't be complete if it didn't have three stars. That's for me, trick stars, three stars. You know it's mine if they're in the shape of the owl. Put them nice and sweet in the top left corner so that you always know what you're looking at. And I just realized that the giraffe's got an Indian headdress on too. That's super cool. And he's also wearing aviators. My personal favorite sunglasses. So you know it's me if he's got the aviators on. Anyways guys, thanks for putting up with my nonsense. I really appreciate you watching this video. I hope you like the art. And if you want, just like or comment and subscribe. Please, it'll help me a lot. I apologize for the video quality and the editing. I'm doing my best. But uh, if you want to see more, just please let me know and uh, I'll be on my way with another video for you guys to watch. Thanks for watching. Bye.